Welcome everyone to the show. I'm your host Eric. So as a beginning filmmaker, I've been told that, you know, shooting movies, shooting videos, it's not about the gear. It's not about your camera. It's about your skills and it's about the person that's behind the camera. And I do agree with that. These days especially, no one really needs a $10,000 camera. I mean, if you do, great, but a lot of beginners, you know, they think they need all this great big equipment and you really don't. And I've been told many times, and I've seen people that have been told, you know, shoot with what you have, like a phone, like my iPhone. And although that's a great idea, because, you know, these iPhones have really great cameras in them, but you can't just open up the camera and start recording. Because, really, you know, just holding it with your hand, you know, it's kind of shaky, it doesn't look that great. You're going to need accessories to use with your phone. And I think I've found the ultimate video accessory for a smartphone, and that is the iClip AV by IK Multimedia. So what actually is the iClip AV? Well, the iClip AV is a broadcasting mounting bracket primarily made for smartphones. What does this mean? Basically, my smartphone can connect to this bracket, and essentially this bracket fixes some of the main issues I have with video today, and that is stabilization, because it's a bigger and heavier unit, and you have another place to put your hand, it's gonna make more stable video shots. And also built into the handle is an audio interface, so I can have XLR devices plugged into this device now going to my phone. So looking at the design of the iClip AV, the bottom part of the bracket is all made out of metal. It says iClip AV on the front, and then on the very bottom there's a tripod thread. This is so obviously I can you know, have this device on a tripod, which actually is really nice. On the opposing side, there's a tripod screw. This is where I can screw in like my smartphone or a small camera. Looking on the side of the device, there's a 3.5 millimeter plug. This is so I can have the iClip AV be plugged into my phone so I can actually receive the XLR audio coming from the iClip AV. Now looking on the opposing side where the handle is, the handle is actually all made out of plastic but it still feels really firm, so I don't really have any complaints. At the very top, there is a XLR port. Looking on the back of the handle, this is where you can find the battery cover. It's gonna take two AA batteries because this device has phantom power built in, so that's actually really cool. Looking still on the back of the handle though, there's a gain adjustment knob, which is really just right there where your thumb's gonna be placed, so it's really easy to change the gain. Looking down, there's your on and off LED indicator light, there's a indicator light for your phantom power, then there's a switch just on, off, or on with phantom power, and then at the very bottom there's a headphone jack which will let you monitor your audio which is a really awesome feature. Flipping over to the other side of the handle though, there's an adapter that you can connect to the iClip AV to have an audio transmitter pack which is a really nice thing that they included. So, at this point, I think I've really talked about the iClip AV enough. Now it's time for you to actually see what it does. And like I mentioned before, some of the biggest things it fixes is stabilization and also audio. Now the audio with the XLR and all that, I've tested out, it works really great. If you wanna see some actual demos and whatnot of that, let me know in the comment section below. But right now, I just wanna focus on, you know, the actual rig itself and the stabilization factor of it. So let's play some footage. Simple walking test. Vlogging with the iPhone 6 Plus with the front facing camera using the AV device. Seems to be really solid. And I also like that I don't have to like, you know, touch the phone. I'm just using the handle, which is right there.
know, I was kind of joking about vlogging with the iClip AV since, you know, it is a little bit of a bigger unit than a traditional small point you camera. But this device stabilizes my phone, allows really quality audio, and I can easily put the phone down, put it wherever. I can't do that with a regular phone. I have to prop it up against something. This kind of acts as a stand if I don't have a tripod with me. So there's some footage with the iClip AV. What did you think? Now I used my iPhone as well as a GoPro and that brings me to another point of this device isn't just made for a smartphone like an iPhone. It's primarily made for an iPhone but you can connect other cameras to the iClip AV such as a GoPro, such as a point and shoot camera. I even connected my Canon T3i to this rig and it worked all right, now I don't really recommend a big DSLR or even a big camcorder, but if you have a smaller end camera, a point and shoot, a mirrorless camera with a small lens, this is a fantastic accessory. I don't know how much you actually noticed with the stabilization, but when I was looking back at the videos, I realized that Yes, this definitely really does stabilize the shot, which is really great. It also makes me a lot more confident while shooting. You know, instead of just recording with an iPhone, I'm just like, woo, I'm recording. You know, recording with a full rig feels that much better. But now it's time in the review when I have to talk about things I don't like about this device. And really, there's, there's not much. Um, honestly, I'm not a huge fan of this tripod adapter. Uh, when I try to screw in a camera, if I screw it in too much, then the bottom adapter right here starts unscrewing too. It's, so it's one unit, which is a little annoying. But with that said, it is still really strong, so I'm not, I don't feel like it's gonna go anywhere, but you know, connecting cameras can be a little annoying. Also, I wish there was other adapting points on this, you know, a cold shoe mount or something so I can attach a shotgun mic to this, which I do plan on doing. I'm just gonna have to jerry-rig something now because there's no adapters. But besides that, this thing's awesome. I don't have any complaints. So now comes the point in the review where I have to say, you know, is this product worth it? Who should get it? Yada, yada, yada. This is $180. Don't freak out about that. That's really not a lot of money for what you're getting because you're getting a pretty solid stabilizer to connect a small camera to, whether it's a smartphone, GoPro, point and shoot camera, mirrorless camera, etc. You're getting an audio interface built into the handle with phantom power, XLR support. Where can you go wrong with that? Also, you have headphone monitoring. Many cameras don't even have that, so the fact that we have headphone monitoring is a great thing easy to control gain. You know, this device, it's really worth getting. Uh, now, who should actually get it? You know, if you're gonna be shooting, obviously, with, like I said, those smaller cameras, especially a smartphone. If you're serious using a smartphone, please get something like this. It's really great. Also, I mean, if you're shooting a lot of action stuff, it adds some stabilization. If you're gonna be doing a lot of interviews, like running gun style interviews, Anyway, guys, that's the video for today. Hope you liked it. Any comments, questions, concerns, leave them down below. Anyway, I'm Eric. I'll see you in the next one.